Yara and Theon attend Daenerys's council meeting, after which, as part of Tyrion's plan to lay siege to King's Landing, Theon and Yara are tasked with escorting Ilaria Sand and the Sand Snakes back to Dawn. On the voyage back to Sunspear, Ilaria drinks ironborn liquor with Yara and Theon, which she compares unfavorably to Dornish wine. Ilaria asks Yara if she had ever been to Dawn, to which Yara responds that she has been there a few times. Ilaria responds that there is a boy in every port in Dawn, which Yara responds, a boy, a girl. Depends on the port. Yara and Ilaria begin to sexually flirt with each other. Yara tells Ilaria that Theon will serve as both her bodyguard and advisor. Yara puts her feet up on the table. Ilaria bends over Yara and spreads her legs apart across the table. Ilaria moves her hand up Yara's leg towards her crotch. Ilaria invites Theon to have a threesome with her and Yara, but Yara tells Ilaria to leave him be. While Yara and Ilaria began kissing, Yara's ship is struck. On the deck above, they discover that their fleet has been ambushed by Euron Greyjoy's portion of the Iron Fleet, led by the imposing Silence, which is significantly larger than the Black Wind, ramming into it and using a levee to board Yara's forces. Despite fighting bravely and cutting down many of Euron's men, Theon watches helplessly as Euron takes Yara hostage, daring him to intervene. After witnessing the defeated soldiers being tortured and mutilated by Euron's men, Theon returns to his despondent state and jumps overboard. Upon surfacing, Theon can only watch as Euron's flagship sails away, having decimated their entire armada, and sees the corpses of Obara and Nymeria sand impaled and hanging from the ship's bowsprit. Theon is later rescued from the narrow sea by one of the few surviving ships loyal to Yara. When their captain, Harrig, questions him about Yara's fate, Theon claims that he tried to save her. An unimpressed Harrig chides Theon, begrudgingly telling him he would be dead if that were true. Theon later returns to Dragonstone and is shocked to be met on the beach by none other than Jon Snow. The two have not seen each other since Jon left Winterfell for the war, over six years ago. Theon hesitantly greets him and asks Jon if Sansa is all right. Jon angrily grabs him by the collar, saying that Theon saving Sansa from the Boltons is the only reason he won't kill him then and there for betraying House Stark in the first place. Theon informs Jon and Davos that Yara was taken captive by Euron and he needs Daenerys's help to get her back, only for Jon to tell him that she has left Dragonstone to carry out her own attack on the Lannister armies. Theon accompanies Jon's group to the meeting with Queen Cersei, where Euron attempts to force him to swear fealty in order to save Yara. Theon refuses, openly admitting Euron's own dwarf jokes to Tyrion aren't very good. Later, back at Dragonstone, Theon meets with Jon before he prepares to return to the north with Daenerys. As they reflect on their enmities, Theon admits he was conflicted between his birth family and the Starks, though Jon retorts that Ned was more of a father than Balan ever was. Jon assures Theon that he is both a Stark and a Greyjoy, encouraging him to rescue his sister from Euron. At the beach, Theon attempts to rally Yara's remaining supporters. However, Harrig refuses, chiding Theon as a coward for abandoning Yara. Theon fights Harrig, though the captain gains the upper hand and almost beats Theon to death when he refuses to stop. Unaware of Theon's castration at the hands of Ramsay, Harrig fails to injure Theon by kneeing him in the groin and is beaten to submission. Finally earning the respect of the Ironborn, Theon rallies them to rescue Yara, washing his bloodied face in the salt water before leaving.